Hello and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So today is the first day I have used the Critter Cannon. I am finally done with finals for this semester. But the only bad thing is my next semester is going to be way harder. But I, I kind of had to go a AFK from Boom Beach for a while. And I'm like so drained right now. So my apologies in advance. But we have the Critter Cannon here. So I'm going to have to force myself to be a happy person here. But anyway, uh, we'll, we'll get through this. Uh, but... Let's just hop straight into this first attack. I am going to be using a Critter Cannon with Grenadier Strategy just because the Grenadiers really know how to comply with the 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 Critter Cannon because, you know, I know Grenadiers take out Critters and all that, but the thing is, the, the thing is, like, the Grenadiers are so bad at aiming that it doesn't even matter. And for our, uh, for our, um whatchamacallit, for our hero, we're going to be using Crystal Critters just because we kind of want to use Dr. Pumon, and I don't really want to use the basic, like, shield thing, but that's okay. There we go. Let's shock that again. We do not want the Grappler to take our Grenadiers yet, but anyway, here we go. Keep going into this base. Hopefully, the Critters are going to get thrown down. Also, <laughs> the Grenadiers do a good job of this, but, like, the, uh, the, um, the Critter Cannon does a pretty good job at taking out mines if i don't say so but uh let's just keep going into this hopefully the laser beam uh will get like just uh distracted by the critters anyway looks like that's happening so far but our grenadiers are extremely inaccurate so let's just keep going with this we are going to throw a box of critters actually just behind the laser beam so that it does get distracted hopefully looks like none of ours got hit so far that's pretty good. Uh, the only thing is, it kind of lacks in Grenadiers, uh, this strategy, but that's okay. And also, uh, the, the, the um, Grenadiers are pretty weak. But that could be just because he's, I don't know if he has damage booster or something, but it just seems like it's doing a lot of damage. And our Grenadiers are limited here. Uh, we have one boat less of Grenadiers and one boat less of Medics. So, I guess it's a compromise, but... Just keep reinforcing those critters, making sure that later in the attack we do not get destroyed by just some things. But it looks like we got some critters over there. I <laughs> uh, don't know how, how useful that... Uh, I don't know if it's helping, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, anyway, let's just keep going into this attack. Hopefully the critter cannon can get some distractions down. It looks like it's taken out some of the shield... Or it's... Uh, it's I, my brain is everywhere right now, so my apologies, but it looks like it's distracting, so that's doing pretty good then. Uh, let's just keep reinforcing the critters. Come on, Critter Cannon, keep doing it. I think I like Rainmaker a lot more. I think we can all agree that Rainmaker was, like, the best Proto Troop, but I'm happy with Critter Cannon uh, so far. I mean, this is just the first day we're doing it, and this attack might be, like, donezo if we can't take out all the Boom Cannons. How tragic would that be? Oh, no. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this base was too much for us, actually. That, that's tragic. That's, that's, that's seriously tragic. But anyway, just... Oh, I guess it had too much health. I don't like it. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. Hmm. I think it's better than the laser tron still, but that was very disappointing. Hmm. We're gonna have to find an easier base to take out. Hmm. My cat is meowing at me. We're just gonna have to ignore him right now. But anyway, let's just keep going into this attack. We'll use three barrages right away. Then we'll use artillery to try and take out all the buildings around it. Oh, looks like we'll need another one. That's okay. So we're gonna place down our beginning critters. We'll... we'll Okay, just keep going. And then we're going to have to shock the grappler as soon as the critters are down. Looks like it's doing fine so far. Uh, let's put down a couple med kits. And hopefully we're going to be able to do this. We'll pop some crystal critters. Keep our troops alive. Well, the grappler, it took one. But hopefully this base, if, if not, if this base conquers us, I don't know what we're going to do. Because this is like our last resort. And we are losing so many Grenadiers already. Oh my gosh. I gotta find a better strategy. Okay. Hopefully we're gonna be able to take that out before the shock is done. Uh, I, 
Maybe the grenadiers are a little more accurate on the critters than I than I might have first thought. That's okay. Uh, let's keep... We gotta throw down critters. Come on here. Come on here. We might be able to do this. I think we're gonna be able to do this. So let's do a flare back here. And let's just hope our crystal critters are enough to heal up our grenadiers. Hopefully the... Oh my goodness. That does so much damage. Doesn't matter. Come on. You have to heal up. Okay, it looks like we are on a positive trend when it does come to that. And I'm sorry for covering my mouth there, but it looks like we are going to be able to take this one out. Thank you. We actually really needed this. And the critter cannon is so bad with grenadiers. I think we're going to have to switch to RZM. We're going to have to switch this to RZM. Hmm. I think I might go do that right now after we do take this out. Thank you for letting me take this out. But... I think I'm going to have to switch it out because I don't think the Grenadiers were a good idea with this at all. So hopefully you guys haven't already commented how bad this is because I have just, I just became self-aware of this strategy. I was in the, no, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, let's just, let's, let's get back to base here. Hopefully we're going to be able to have enough here. Uh, looks like it was well over enough, but we're going to have to get rid of the Ryaneers, we'll switch a boat there. We'll put that. We'll put a boat of that. And then hopefully, let's go find a victim. I'm sorry if I skip over a base, uh, but I'm probably going to skip over a couple bases here just because we cannot afford it. We can Maybe we can afford a level 60 here, but we cannot afford a loss. Like, we are in that tragic phase right now. So let's take out the shock launchers, or at least try. I think the artillery should take them out. There we go. And let's throw down some critters. Oh, we have Dr. Kavan. Oh, I should have got a shield. I should have got ice shield. That's fine. Uh, that's not really fine. We'll have to switch that in a second. But we do have crystal critters out. Hopefully, this strategy might actually work. I'm not sure what Christian did with it. He probably did all, uh, but... Um, I need to get gold so the trader knows that I want it. But anyway, let's get a med kit down so that we're, we're doing okay so far. Uh, maybe. We gotta get the... We gotta get the thing to shoot over there. We're just gonna throw that, and then we're gonna shock so that we do have the idea that there is something over there. We're gonna pop another crystal critter, and then hopefully we do have enough energy. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it in the upright position. There we go. Oh, it didn't get really anything off. And it's looping around. This is this is good so far. This is doing pretty good. Get rid of the hot pot. We do not need that kind of stress in our life right now. And we're just going to keep going with this attack. Look at the cr look at the, the critter cannon just distracting the boom cannon. Boom, we took out a level 60. I am so proud of myself. This, uh, this strategy is way more stressful than the Rainmakers were. Because Rainmaker, you could use two Rainmakers and take out half the base. And they would still live. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just using them wrong. Comment down below. on Definitely comment down below on what you want to see the Rainmaker strategy with. Because I, I, I want to have fun with this uh, one. This one should be fairly easy. I will say just because it does not have any troop health and I keep wanting to take out boom cannons but I forget forgot I've switched from grenadiers so that's fine uh, we're gonna take out this one too so we can keep up we'll just shock on the shore right away and then we should be okay hopefully we're gonna place down our usual critters place down our usual we're gonna pop our thing right away and then we're gonna go with that and we're off to the races. Come on, Critter Cannon. Take out all those mines. That's what this is good for. We don't have to, like, mine clear as much. Now, I, I probably would because the, they're, they're very, very not focused on what they want to take out. <laughs> they, they, sometimes you see them and they're not with the pack, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to go back here and we're going to pop. Where's Dr. Kavan? We need you, bud. We need you. we got to pop the ice shield. Half the troops didn't even get in it, but that's fine. We needed you, dude. Oh, no. All right, let's shock it in the upright position. 
Don't know if that really matters, though. Will it be able to reach? It'll definitely be able to reach, but we might be able to take out the base quick. Oh, doesn't matter, because we can shock it again. So this will be the last attack. I had one fail with the cannon. Uh, actually, I used the critter cannon like a couple weeks ago when we recorded that uh, video on the dev build. And then, again, I used it for the first time today, so hopefully... Hopefully gold will not be a shortage soon. We're gonna have to get some from Dr. T. Uh, we get a new tribe, we, we get new tribes, or a tribe reset in two days, probably less when this video goes out. So look forward to that. I do, <laughs> the shock launcher health and damage, well, just the health, I mean, has been really annoying. And I even did it, so I kind of feel a little guilty, but that's fine. We'll see you in the next Boom Beach video. Again, comment what you wanna see, but thank you guys for watching so much. Bye bye we